Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. The 10 cards were released yesterday. Manny didn't see them, so he's going to get his Correct. true reactions to these cards. Uh, so we're going to we're gonna go through them one by one. I've seen them. Uh, I, I think I found a really cool combo for one of them. But um, let's, uh, let's go to the first one. Um, first one is Yennefer Necromancer. She's 5 power. Resurrect a bronze or silver soldier from your opponent's graveyard. What do you think of this one, Manny? It, it, it has to have a soldier tag, right? So we realized that, it's, that the Squeletto also has some soldiers. I'm not so sure how valuable she's going to be, but if she can get like a reover or the night graveyard, you know, resurrection, I think she's very important. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about five. Maybe she should be a little bit, a little tiny bit more. Yeah. It, she's she's kind of like caretaker, but she has to pull a soldier. She could pull some big bombs, though. I mean, she could pull a great sword. She could pull uh, Jenga fret. Um, there's a you, you can also deny your opponent some some things like uh, uh, brands are soldiers, I believe. So you could mm -hmm. uh, deny maybe their Slyzard. But uh, I don't know. They said mostly these cards are for uh, arena, but. I don't know. It, it, I I think most most soldier cards are pretty decent, so you're going to be picking soldiers in arena. So I think it'll be okay. I don't think it'll be. There. I mean, yeah, there'll probably be some times where it's totally dead, but it's, I still think it'll be okay. It's not like the best card, but I think it'll. I think it's decent. It will keep some uh, some of the what's it called archetypes in check. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's like any uh, graveyard card. It uh, Skellige is just crying in their sleep thinking of this. So, <laughs> <laughs> next one we got Roach the Merciless, five power, destroy a face down ambush unit when then draw a card. So if this thing pops off, you get an extra card. Uh, the way they were saying on the stream is um, basically if this gets to go off you pretty much win the game because you're gonna have one card up on them and your opponent lost you know Malegna. <laughs> yeah Malena, the torveal even the sapper is this thing's gonna and it doesn't specify gold either too so um yeah oh, that's all maybe there is a gold ambush now uh -huh. spoilers yeah <laughs> uh, -huh. uh this one in in arena, I think a lot of people are gonna pick ambush cards, mostly because they they play around weather. Um, Milena's pretty pretty decent swing. Torveal's a, a great swing, and you're getting a lot of silvers. So you know it could be a completely dead card where you just play a five strength gold. But I mean in arena, some of these I mean you're getting you know eight. 10 11 in your draft so you know you might not be too sad picking it especially since it can just absolutely wreck someone you know you get a card and destroy their face down bomb but i don't know what do you think of this one Manny? uh it's probably just having that problem it's like i think there's a little tiny bit of a problem because what happens is we're not gonna see any face down cards now Right. Because if this it's gonna be like a cycle, right? So you're gonna see a lot of face downs, so you're gonna see a lot of a rose, roach, a lot of face downs, a lot of roach, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like Octavist. I mean, if if Octavist goes off, you know, you won. You know what I mean? It's it, usually you win. You know, you you hit your opponent's board for a ton, and you brought a card back in your hand. This one, you're putting something on the board, and you're drawing a card. So, like you yeah. said, it's it's. It's it's a hard counter to something, but it if it, it could be something where it's just you just played a five strength gold. So you know, I guess it, it would depend on how your draft's going. If you if you're rolling with seven, you know, and this pops up, maybe you might take it. You know, seven golds. You know, this be your eight. insurance. Yeah, yeah, but uh, great card art, but uh, oh hell, yeah. I I don't know. It uh, it seems like it's gonna be an all. It's definitely an all or nothing card. Uh, next one, Dandelion Vainglory. He's nine power, and he boosts himself by three for each Gerald Yennefer Triss Zoltan. 
card in your starting deck. Uh, so he's he's like uh, Shoop or Siri Nova. He has a stipulation, you know, in your deck. You, it, he is the ultimate meme. Yeah. Think about it, dude. <laughs> this is it. And uh, by the way, I don't care what people say about that that painting. I think that that's, that happened, okay? I don't know what you guys talking about. That totally happened. Then the lion slaying the dragon, 100%. Yeah, it happened. He, it, it, the proof's right there, man. No pictures like, or... Exactly. Yeah. I saw his Instagram. I said he, that was there. I was like, okay, it happened. I think they uh, I think they made this card the right way, though, without including Siri in it, because I think it would be just stupid <laughs> if you had Siri with this, because you mm -hmm. could play... You know, Siri Nova, you know, regular Siri, the other, you know, it, it would just be like, and you you would have a 22 strength Siri Nova, and this card, it's just like. 20. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Well, it's, it, it, well, I don't know about this one. What do you think? Man? I don't know about this one, but I'm just sad that they, there's no Cantarella in there. Why? What? It should have, uh, it should have counted as well. But C uh, Cantarella or I, Siri? You mean Siri, right? No, no, no. I actually mean Cantarella, the, the other girl that sings. Uh, oh, Priscilla. Priscilla, Priscilla yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, that, Cantarella was her, I think, like stage name. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I think Priscilla should have been added there. Yeah. There's two Priscilla cards now, so... Yeah, that's... That seems fair. I think they're just going with the... the Vanilla. Ho yeah, the Holy Trinity of Gerald and Yennefer and Triss. And I don't know about Zoltan, but... <laughs> but, uh, you shoot him out like you, you, whatever. yeah, yeah. You just, <laughs> no, I, I, it just it, it it's a cool little you know deck builder trick, but this one I I think I think you want something that's gonna either do something over time or I, I just I don't know it just doesn't seem like it it's gonna be okay yeah I, I mean you might get eleven golds in your in your arena and they might all be Gerald's and Yennefer's, you know what I mean? And you're just like, here, here you go. Here's, you know, an extra 30 strength. <laughs> He's 39 strength, and there you go. But, yeah, but uh, I, actually, I actually like that they encourage certain deck building. I think that that is well done. It's a fine line, for sure, to try to tune. And you got to pick your tools carefully. Uh, so I would like to see more definition of a deck building like this. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work, to be honest. Because even if it's 30 strength, we have the idea that Scorch or Ignis are going to be coming out left and right. You know what I'm saying? So right. it might not even be that dangerous, uh, even for the for that archetype. Yeah. Also, too, on a on a side note, this uh, this will probably be the Great Danny Line's new intro. <laughs> Awesome, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're not even gonna try to pronounce this this thing's name. Uh, I'm just gonna call it Little Horse because I think it's the the horse that was in the desert with Siri in the books. Um, but uh, it's seven power. Now I think I found something out on this that might mm -hmm. might work. Okay, it's seven power. Deal five damage to self. When this unit's current power equals its base power, deal seven damage to three random units. Okay, now I think I I came I came up with something. If you can get this in between a light long ship and wild boar of the sea, and somehow heal it one turn, you know, with uh with one of the like bagpipe guys or something, wouldn't this go off every turn since it gets healed back to it gets healed by one and damaged by one? I don't know what the interaction is, but I think that could be like a like the spreader from Contra, if you can get that going, <laughs> I would definitely be, be super, super hilarious to see me going out. But what about something a little bit more simple, like hand buff? Yeah, if, you know, you simply go fourteen, and then you play this, gets hit, and then after that, like you play it next to like a Terubio, uh, which is very possible, and then the Terubio gets Roach, and never mind, we take over the Terubio. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I think that we can do like some kind of like hand buff into like addition of like buff to the board. Yeah, yeah. You could uh, you could keep it. So you're saying like buff it up, you know, by five, then play it on the board, and instantly, it yeah. instantly goes off for for the twenty one across the board. Yeah, that that works too. Um, 
I, I think it's a pretty cool card. Um, I'm definitely going to craft it day one. It's uh, It seems like out of all the cards, this one and one other one seem like they're definitely more ladder constructed oriented but um really really cool card great card art um i'm uh i'm gonna try to make this one happen for sure dude uh, i think this card is so good like i said the more that i think about it okay so check this out this says exactly when this unit's current power equals base uh base power deal seven and the so it can go off multiple times. Correct. Yeah, that's why I was thinking like the wild boar, the sea thing, where it would just keep healing itself and going off. <laughs> I don't. I, I think there's a way to do it, but um, we'll have to we'll have to monkey around with it. But uh, it seems like, uh, like I said, it seems like it can be really. The problem is if you're not hand buffing it, um, it's sitting on the on the board for two strength. So that that's a serious like danger issue right there even if you hand buff it you know just a five it's still only a seven so it uh it's still a lightning target and everything else so it's a it's a panther target you know yeah i mean sure but still like you wouldn't oh god i think i like this card <laughs> yeah you, well yeah you you got seven strength on the board and if you can hit the max seven i mean that's 28 strength i mean that's huge you know that's a that's a that's a big card, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, I'm definitely a fan. So out of out of all of them, I I think this one's really really good. Uh, we'll go to the next one. Uh, Gerald Profession. There's our art uh, Manny from the uh, uh, the Christmas the yeah. the Christmas Gerald. Unfortunately, they put it on an extremely bad card. Uh, seven power. Deal four damage to an enemy. If it's a monster unit, destroy it. Um, this card is worse than Striga. <laughs> that's that's all I can say. It might hit something big, I mean, but it has to be a monster unit to destroy it. So why why you I, I, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I seen it, and I'm like. Oh, dude, this this awesome Wolverine Berserker mode art, and it got this butt card. You know, I'm like, oh, dude, you wasted it, man. You wasted oh, it. Oh no. Yeah. You, know, I, you can tell them the artwork that that was the only monster around. There were like 30 enemies, but Gerald is like, all right, I'm going for that monster. Yeah. Value. <laughs> yeah, there's a, yeah, you don't see the other side of this where there's like 15 Scoyatels over here just laughing. Like, yeah, you just killed a, uh, a seven strength Wyvern and there's like 30 strength units over here, you know. Mm. Yeah, this one's great card art, but boy, is this a, this is a sad card right here. Especially for Gerald, you know, like this... Like, I'd rather have the 15 strength, you know, vanilla over this. Uh, this is this is a rough one. Yeah, this is a like, rest in peace four, moment. I'm, I'm just I'm just thinking like four used to be the perfect number. Remember, like like so many patches ago. But then it became five, and now six, and four is just not gonna cut it. I yeah. mean, technically, why are you gonna run this when you can run this? Right. So like, what? Yeah, uh. it's a it's a sad moment. I I, I seen the art. And I'm like, oh. Then I read the text. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> this is no good, no good at all. Next, uh, this one's this card's awesome. Uh, this was an old uh, effect from uh, Ida. She's uh, it's more in Forest Child. Green double D's baby. That's the oh, that's the that's yeah. the channel logo right there. Uh, Six power, ambush. When your opponent plays a bronze or silver special card, flip over and cancel its ability. <laughs> I think this card is awesome, man. It, uh, it's 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 going to it's going to really wreck someone's day if they have like you know, last uh, last wish or anything. Scorch. You imagine you put this down before a scorch. You play this, you drop your big bomb 
Yeah. Bart and, goes through and he's like, oh, wow. <laughs> She's like, no, don't don't do it, man. I want to scorch your stuff. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's it's scorch protection, man. It uh, you play this before your your, you know, you put this down. You play your, they, you know, then you play your big bomb and you're you're saving it from scorch. Um, I think this card's awesome. Uh, they, I really like her. Yeah. I really, really do. Yeah, this one's. I think. I think more in. Uh, she deserves a gold card for sure, and uh, I'm. Uh, I'm a fan of this one. I think this is great. I like. I like control elites type stuff. So, this to me is like the ultimate control card. So, thumbs up for this one. I really like it. I love the artwork. The artwork. I think it looks majestic. It. I think is. It looks amazing. Like as I say, yeah, I didn't watch the stream, but I bet that the premium has to look like fantastic. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's it you know it's got the light shining through and everything else. Um, it's uh, I think it, I think it's gonna be good in both. I think it's gonna be good for constructed or uh, or arena. I think either either way, this card's gonna gonna help. No, you I out. think it it adds more to the mind games. Like I mean, you play this and then you just nothing flips and you're like, what? Yeah, until and then you play another card, and then oh no! Yeah, and then Vernon Roach comes in and just kills your your green double D dream. Indeed. <laughs> Next one, now this card's a little bit confusing. Series Fearless, even though she looks like she's scared. Uh, six power, resurrect the next unit you discard. Um, I don't know about this one. Uh, it's like. I guess you could put her on I, 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 the, I don't the know. question. No, that's that's the, pretty good. The question is: Is does the does the effect still happen even if the card's not on the board? So if you play this, and then you say play your leader, and the first card you discard is you know old geared or something. Does old geared come out of the graveyard? Yeah, but it would be the furthest, the next unit, correct? I would say yes. Um, now, what if the? I think this is legitimately good. So one of the one of the old combos, if you remember, it was to actually try to discard uh, skirmishers because they will give you more value. We didn't have enough cards back then to actually have a fully discard deck, mm -hmm. but with this, sometimes you end up getting skirmishers on your hand. If you discard the skirmisher, right? So then you you're gonna get the skirmisher value because he goes to the graveyard and then discard because obviously called discarded, and then you're actually gonna get the value of the skirmisher blocking into the board for being resurrected. Right. This value actually goes over and over, and not necessarily just that, but sometimes you're gonna get stuck with a card that you don't want to discard or you want to use. So yeah. if it's going to be resurrected, hell, I throw away a knock fist. <laughs> right. I actually just came up with a really cool combo right here. If you play this and then you play Johnny with Siri Nova, you would get the Johnny value, get the card, and you would play Siri Nova on the board. That seems oh, stupid. Cool. That seems stupid good. Uh, would that work? Because you discard, you discard, um... You discard uh, Siri Nova, or not Siri Nova, uh, Siri Siri Dash. So uh -huh. she would go. She would go directly to the board. Plus, she would get the advantage of the gold card that that you wanted to pull. Oh my God, that is <laughs> right. Does that sound right to me? It seems right. <laughs> like I was thinking, somebody opens like that on me. I'm like, I'm done. Because that seems like that would work, right? That's how Johnny works. He he discards the card because that's why people run it with Siri Dash, uh -huh. right? So yeah. Johnny would play, you would play Siri Nova, or Siri, I keep saying Siri Nova, Siri Dash, and then you would still get that gold card. That seems really good if you could do it. You know, it's one of those things uh, where it's, it's a lot of things have to happen, but that one seems really good right there. I didn't think of that one until just now. I love, yeah, I love, I love that whole idea. I know also, man, like the artwork. Like, yeah, she might be scared, but being fearless is all about, like, overcoming your fears and your, you know. I think she's she's a badass leader. I think she's, like, a badass chick overall. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah, if that if that Johnny combo works, I'll, 
we'll have to test it and see. Now, this card, I know a lot of people, um, I think this card is going to add to the mill uh, archetype really bad. Uh, Dandelion Poet, six power, draw a card, then play a card. Draw a card, then play a card. So you could pull, like, you know, Stregbor or... It doesn't say that you have to play the card that you drew anyway, so... No, it just says play a card. That You could play the card that you drew or anything, but I think this card's going to add to the mill archetype. I think people are going to hate this card. It's super strong. I mean, you're. it's kind of like uh, uh, Prince Toad Prince, kind of. I mean, you're but drawing a card. But it doesn't say that the enemy does it. No, you just draw the card, right? That's it. You draw a card, then play a card. So, I don't know. I think uh -huh. when I saw it, I thought mill. I'm like, uh oh, this is this might be uh this might be an ugly uh ugly mill card, especially with Avalok being doomed now. And I don't know. I I, I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a lot of hate <laughs> for this card. I don't know why. I just see it coming. What do you think of it? Oh my god! This is actually this is this is this card gives you a lot of closure. Like you want your opponent to pass, you're gonna try to like make a big play. You you don't have that. Put six plus a card. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't have truce on it either, so you could play it after your opponent passed. Yeah, that's actually like the the, the way I see it. You know, like it, I think it's more of closure. I mean, like, your opponent is like, I got this, and then the lion smashes his lure in, in, over his head. <laughs> it's like... Phew. Yeah. Yeah, it's... I think it's... I think it's going to be... It's going to be super strong. I, it's... It's just... I mean, it's cards. You're drawing cards. Anything that's drawing cards is going to be... going to be good. Um, yeah. Yeah, I just... I, when I seen it, though, I just thought mill. I just saw this, and I'm like, oh... More mill. <laughs> mill ain't dead yet. Uh, another one. <laughs> uh, I love the, I love the sound. I didn't even read the card. I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Uh, Tris Telekinesis. Great card art. Uh, the premium is really dope. Uh, six power. Create a bronze special card from either player's starting deck. Bronze. <laughs> what? This card is just Portress, man. Gerald's side chick just forever getting tossed aside. Yennefer gets these awesome cards. Triss just gets nothing. She gets she gets create a bronze card. A bronze special card. So uh, she's a lot. I'm trying to think the most value that you're gonna get with this. I a lot of the times it's just going to be like your own special. Yeah, like reconnaissance. Uh, lightning. I I just I I saw this and I cr I was like oh a Triss card and it was I I, I thought can, telekinesis like she was gonna be like a a uh, mind control tech or something like that where she would steal something from the other side of the board. No, nope. she's uh six power create a bronze special. <laughs> Doppler. I mean I I don't know man this would. I, I was super sad. I was like, oh, another Triss card. Oh, another bad think, Triss like, card. Dude, I, I, I struggle to put the special bronze cards just for my uh, course deck. Yeah. What? Yeah, and I mean, even in Arena, like, I mean, most special cards, you're not going to... You're not gonna take them unless they're like just lightning and you can hopefully combo it with something else. It's like... This one is just... Oh, I was so what mad. If, what if the effect would have been bro, draw a bronze from your deck or a silver from your opponent? Because, you know, this way you have an option in case they don't have a silver special. Yeah, you might you might end up drawing a turd, though. They might not have picked any, and you played a six strength, nothing. Yeah, but still, it's still balanced, in my opinion. Like, either a bronze from your deck or a silver from the deck. <sighs> yeah, this one was... This one was sad news. I think uh, the only... No, that's... I don't... Is Ointment a special card? Or is it just Alchemy? I'm not sure. Either way, man, it's just... It's not that good, man. I'm just... Oh. 
I think the Nilgard will see play because you know they do they do get like a bunch of pressure. And, yeah. Uh, it's I was bronze even, though. Like, it's bronze. It's not even silver. It's like come on, man. Like I, it'd be awesome if you could maybe get a, you know, a, a stone out of it or something like that. But it's like it's a bronze special card, man. Come on. And it's random. It's just here you go. <laughs> like it might be, you know, something that. It, it might be Araka's Venom or something. There's nothing <laughs> on the board. You're like, okay, well, that's great. And it's not like you're stealing it. You're creating it. So mm -hmm. I think that it should be a little bit better than that. Yeah. Sad, sad portrait. I wanted to disagree with you. I was thinking, I'm like, I'm going to find a combo. I'm no. I'm going to find a combo. Nope. <laughs> no. Make, make Triss great again. Give her, give her the Fearless card that I made. This card is so badass. I'm not going to lie. The art on this is sick. And this card, I think, is going to be just awesome in Arena. Imlarith Sabbath. Look at this. It looks like just final boss, dude. He's just dude. sitting on his throne, surrounded by, you know, chicks. I'm like, yeah. It's like, okay, here's what he does. Five power. Duel the highest enemy on end of turn. If it survives, heal it by two and give it two armor. And it starts out with two armor, so it's seven. But each turn, it it, it heals it heals each. itself and gives itself two armor every turn. It does it all every turn. At the end of every turn. <laughs> yeah, dude, this card is awesome, man. I think this card is sweet. I mean, even for even for constructed, if you could find a way to bump this thing up with like Manticore, <laughs> it's like you play this with. Dude, with Vesemir and buff it up. Don't even dive. They, they, what's it called? They wild hunt boats, man. <gasps> yeah, yeah, he is wild hunt. So, yeah, it can keep growing. Um, Dude, I, I love that because the wild hunt, what, uh, like, the actual decks, it was almost there. It was, like, like almost there. It just need a little couple more cards. Like, as I say, the more time it goes, the better the wild hunt will get. And do this card, number one, there is succubuses, so premium for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think you two, were. The dual effect is gonna be great, and yeah, dude, with the boats, oh my god. Yeah, this card is awesome, man. I love it. I think it's great. I think it, uh, it's it's like just this Im imposing individual on the other side of the field. That's just, he's just knocking someone out. Next round, I need another one. <laughs> Send me another one. He's, I just I think this card is so badass. I think it I think it's the epitome of, of badass right here. I just I absolutely love this card. I think it's great. Oh dude, that's, that's gonna be awesome, dude. Wild hunt. Yeah, yeah. Monsters got uh, got hooked up here. Uh, definitely uh, wild hunt and I just uh, the 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 potential of it staying on the field and just constantly doing you know damage just seems awesome to me. But uh, Looks great, dude. Uh, of the ten cards, man, you know they because uh, this is the last one, I think. Yeah. Um, of the ten cards, there's some really cool ones. You know, I like the I like Little Horse. I like the Morin. Uh, if that series combo works with Johnny, I'm a huge fan of Johnny. So, Dandelion Poet seems pretty good. Immler Sabbath seems pretty good. And then there's some, you know, OKs and some super bad. So. Uh, all my all. favorites. My favorite is their hand down, like the series. I, I really like that. I, I know that you're trying to do that combo, but I think that overall, if you're going to discard the Screamisher that is going to be played on its own and resurrected on its own, I'm all over that. That's going to give you like value over three rounds if you play it on the first round. Right. So that value is actually like very, very important. I think that she is going to be like there. The second one that I'm what I want to work with is the pony. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, that's because just the meme factor, right? But right. if I'm going to if I'm going to ladder, if I'm going to do like legitimate like you know a deck that I like and try to do as better as as good as I can, it's gonna be wild hunt. And I haven't even seen that there is wild hunt bronzes or silvers. I think that that goal wild hunt is is big. Yeah, I think it's great. It uh, it, it there's there's just like. 
it, it seems like they're just like investment cards. They're just, if they could stay on the board, you know, I, I like too that they're doing damage. It's not that it's, you know, getting points. It's like they're doing damage to the other side of the field. So it's like, I, I love that. It's not a constant buff, you know, point vomit situation. It's like these things are just constantly throwing haymakers across the field. I love it. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the ten cards. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I think they're they're okay. I mean, there there's some like I said, there's some bad ones, but I think there's some some pretty decent ones too. So we'll we'll, we'll craft them up and uh, and we'll get them on the channel here. Uh, out of out of all of them, uh, or out of the whole set, you, you think they're pretty decent, Manny? Dude, I, I uh, like the whole set. I, 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 it's not like about, about being decent. It's about what they add to the entire uh, game overall. And I noticed that some of them are actually have the capability of changing the way we play one. Yeah. And I know that that's gonna be like a, like people are gonna say, "Oh man, you're just giving like a polite talk." No, 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 for real. If you there is more cards that, you know, make your deck be built a certain way. If there is more cards that I actually. Uh, you know, swinging instead of just being strength. If there is cards that are like having an effect plus swinging or strength plus swinging and strength plus, you know, doing extra, I think that that's, that's the way to go. Yeah, definitely. I'm, uh, like I said, we'll, we'll craft them up. We'll try and get some, some good things out of it. And, uh, hopefully we can, uh, get some highlights out of it. Uh, you got anything for the wonderful going community, Manny? Um, not just, uh, you know, how the internet works, guys. Um, Devil Driven works really hard for for his channel. So, I, I know that I asked this, but, you know, it's for him because I know how hard he works. So, just give him a sub, man. If you're not sub right now, what are you doing, dude? This is a good <laughs> channel. This is this is quality content right there. So, yeah. go ahead. That's all. Manny's the man. That's, uh, that's always super polite of you, Manny. Uh, like always, guys, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Um, but we'll see you guys next time.